celebrities making a difference in our country. And of course, someone who's also making a difference is James Kidd from Ranger Diaries. James, for those that have just joined us right now, take us through very quickly what Ranger Diaries is about. Ranger Diaries is the safari experience through the eyes of the guides. And uh, there's many, many aspects of it, but uh, we're just trying to get people to reconnect with nature. We live a very busy lifestyle, and it enables anyone who's interested in wildlife to, to come in in the morning just before you're about to go to work and find out what's going on in the wild and get a real live view of it. And, um, of course, something like this, a website like this, wasn't available a few years back. What's changed? How has this now been made possible? A lot of the technology has changed. Uh, if you go back a few years ago, this website would have been impossible yeah. because a, a lot of the lodges, and they still are, are very, very remote, and the internet connections have been really slow. Internet speeding up. Lodges are realizing how important it is to invest in communicating and getting their product out there. And uh, now we can. Now a lot of the lodges have an internet speed where they can upload videos and show us what's going on. And I believe that you've got a few c incredible interactions, some close calls that you've experienced. Can you take us through some of those? Yeah, absolutely. Wonderful. I think that we, the very first one we have is called an uh, injured male leopard. Maybe you can just explain to us what's happening on our screens right now. I remember we tracked this male for a, about two hours in the heat of the day. And just before we found him, uh, a massive python crossed in front of us, a huge python, must have been about six meters, and slumped down a hole. Wow. And we then heard the zebra's alarm calling. We were, the vehicle was close by. We managed to get back into the vehicle and drive up. We found this leopard who'd been treed by the zebras. The zebras had come back to try and save their foal, which he'd managed to kill. Eventually, the zebras left him alone and moved back. And uh, just while he was watching this zebra, which he wanted to go and claim again, a herd of kudus came up behind him, and he literally flew out of the tree, grabbed a young kudu, and as a hyena got up to him, he managed to pick this kudu up and get it into the tree. But unfortunately, you see the injury on his paw over there. He never quite recovered from that wound. Hunting's a very, a very dangerous sport, and about a month later, he was gone because he wasn't able to defend his territory against wow. other males. That is incredible. The next one we have is called the tracker. Maybe you can tell us more about that, yeah? That is the man that I used to work with at yeah. uh, the world famous Londolozi, and he's a phenomenal guy. His name's Freddie Ngobeni. And at a lodge like Londolozi, there's a lot of pride and passion put into the art of tracking. Now, if you haven't been to a lodge like this, what happens is your guide will sit in the front seat, and your tracker sits on the, that front seat that you can see on the bonnet over there. There's a hyena under the Land Rover, by the way. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> I can and, see it, yeah. And when tracks come across the road, like some fresh leopard tracks, we'll get off on foot and leave the guests behind in the, the Land Rover and go and follow the tracks on foot. And I remember one day uh, we had a, a fresh drag mark which went across the road. A drag mark, if you don't know, is a, it's a track of a dead animal going across the road. Okay. So a leopard had been dragging a young antelope. And we followed this track through very, very thick, dense bush. And there was grass blades going down in this direction, that direction. A lot of animals would walk through there. And, mm. It felt like we'd lost the trail and the trail gone cold. And I remember Freddie just leaning down in amongst this forest of grass and picking out a needle from a haystack. He picked up a little twig, and just on the edge of the twig was a tiny little drop of blood. Wow. And uh, we found our trail again, managed to find the leopard with the camera. You know what is so incredible to me is the fact that a lot of this footage, if not for people like you, would just kind of be lost. We would never get a chance to see it. Am I right? Yeah. The public out there, all of you, you've got no idea what it's like. Unless, yeah. unless you're a guy, unless you're there every day, there's such amazing things going on at these lodges. And we've got hundreds of guides and thousands and thousands of lodges throughout this amazing continent. And it would really be great. You know, a lot of the National Geographic crews go in for five days and they, they try and get this footage and they, they get a little story. There's stories, there's amazing things going on all the time, all over this continent. And we, we want to try and get this out for yeah. the public. Absolutely. Well, I've had an awesome time seeing this. And thank cool. you so much for being here with us today. If you would like to see more, if you'd like to experience more of what I've been talking about with James Kidd this morning, you can go to rangerdiaries.com. Am I correct? Right. It is really an awesome experience. Kat, I believe we're coming over to you. What do you think about this? I mean, it's really good stuff. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.